In 1902, British citizen William Willett proposed the idea of daylight saving time to Britain's parliament. While the proposal did not pass in his lifetime, he would advocate for it until his death, and his idea gained popularity in the world wars. With finite supplies and the vast consumption of materials and energy used for war, in 1916, Germany, hoping it would save energy, became the first country to use daylight saving time. Hello and welcome to Thinkflake. If you enjoy the following content, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment your opinions on the topic. All sources used will be provided in the video description below. Thank you very much for your view, and without further ado, let us begin. The Standard Time Act of 1918 brought daylight saving time to the United States. It was in an effort, similar to that of Germany, to save energy in World War I. However, the act was repealed just a year later in 1919. Daylight saving time once again became mandatory in World War II, once again in an effort to save energy. However, the Uniform Time Act of 1966 allowed for states to opt out of daylight saving time if they so desired. And as of 2019, two states, Arizona and Hawaii, do not have daylight saving time as well as most of the world's population. As previously stated, daylight saving time was originally used to save energy, however, whether it actually saves energy is controversial. Additionally, daylight saving time has negative impacts on one's health and the economy. In 2008, a study done by Professor Matthew J. Cochin, who works at Yale as an economist in the School of Forestry and Environmental Studies, and Professor Laura E. Grant, who works at the McKenna College School of Economics and Finance, conducted a study for the National Bureau of Economic Research to investigate the correlation between daylight saving time and energy saved. The study was only able to be conducted because of an interesting situation in the state of Indiana. Before 2006, many counties in Indiana did not observe daylight saving time. However, this led to much confusion in the state, as simply traveling to a different county could mean a time change. So in 2006, the state of Indiana decided that every county in Indiana had to observe daylight saving time. Luckily for Cotchins and Grant, they had access to the energy bills of the counties that did not use daylight saving time before 2006. This led them to compare the amount of energy used in the counties before 2006 and after 2006. Their findings was that having daylight saving time actually increased these counties' energy use rather than decrease it. By examining 7 million Indianan power bills over a course of a three-year period, the researchers found that daylight saving time caused power usage to go up by about 1%. However, it was different at different times of year. For instance, in the fall, daylight saving time could increase a home's energy use by 4%. The researchers hypothesized that heating and cooling are responsible for increasing the effect of daylight saving time. Aside from increasing the total energy bills of Indiana's homes by $9 million, social costs are estimated to cost about $1.7 million to $5.5 million due to the excess pollution caused by this extra energy usage, especially considering that Indiana's homes are mostly powered by coal. Furthermore, daylight saving time is detrimental to one's health. The spring transition into daylight saving time causes people to lose an hour of sleep. Sleep is crucial for one's well-being. Empirical studies have linked daylight saving time to an increase in workplace injuries, car accidents, and heart attacks. Mondays are a common day to have heart attacks. It's stressful. It's the first day back at work. However, examining 42,000 hospital admissions in the state of Michigan, University of Colorado Denver cardiology fellow Dr. Amnit Sandhu found that the spring transition into daylight saving time caused an average of 40 Michiganers to have a heart attack on that Monday, as opposed to only 32 heart attacks on a normal Monday. 
While the study done is certainly not perfect, for instance it was only done in a small geographic region of the United States, it serves to show how just one hour lost from sleep as a result of daylight saving time is very detrimental, especially to people who have a weak heart or have heart disease. Research at McMaster University found sleep deprivation cost the U.S. billions. An additional report from the American Economic Association done in 2002 found that the spring transition into daylight saving time can drop stock prices by $60 billion. The report doesn't even mention the economic loss of the individual. As previously stated, daylight saving time can increase one's power usage, which just increases their power bills. So, daylight saving time should not be used in society because there is insufficient evidence that it saves energy, and contrary to its original purpose, there is evidence that in some scenarios it actually increases energy use, it causes people to lose an hour of sleep resulting in health issues, and combined with the potential loss of energy and loss of sleep has a deleterious effect on the economy. Proponents of daylight saving time may note that the long summer evenings of daylight saving time improve quality of life, and some may point to evidence that daylight saving time decreases crime rates. However, these issues can be solved for without changing the time twice a year. Daylight saving time can be used all year, or if the goal is for time to align more closely with the sun, society can change when work and other activities occur. For instance, instead of working a job 9 to 5, one may work 8 to 4 instead for the entire Entire year. This system would change how people view time and allow for the use of standard time while receiving the same benefits of daylight saving time. The time change is simply unnecessary and has a negative impact on society. Whatever the benefits of daylight saving time may be, they can be solved for without changing time. Oh, and daylight saving time may make the evenings brighter, which means I can go to the park longer, but parks should just be open all the time since I'm a taxpayer who pays for the park. Thank you very much for watching the following video. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment your feelings below. Thank you very much once again, and have a nice day or evening if that's the time you're watching this.